everybody, I've got a great guest with us right now. He's a man that proves not all sins are bad. He's got a brand new album coming out, American, dropping in uh, just over a week. And then they're going to be going on a North American tour. I am speaking with Sin Karin of Ministry. How you doing, man? Yo, 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 I'm good. Yeah, good. So, American, finally... Did you ever think this day would finally come? No, you know, it seems like it's been forever, man. Um, we had the, the actual initial release date was last October, I believe. Right. And um, But then we, you know, we, we signed with Nuclear Blast, and um, and the date just got pushed. So it just seemed okay. like it just kept getting, you know, farther and farther away from us. But um, I, it's hard to believe that it's actually here, and, uh, and it'll be out next week. Yeah, yeah. Now, you had been with another record label for a long time before you went over there to Nuclear Blast. Anything in particular behind that? Well, I mean, the band was with 13th Planet, which was Al's old label for right. many years. Okay. And um, that just kind of dissolved with uh, with a few other things that dissolved in the uh, in, in Al's life. <laughs> right, but, right, um, right. Yeah, that was basically it. Now, speaking of dissolving, all right, so this is something that... Uh, I can't wait to get your input on. Obviously, the last album was From Beer to Eternity, and there was the thought that ministry would be done after that, uh, you know, especially with the loss of Skasha, and, you know, I know that had a profound effect on Al and yourself. And, yes. you know, so ministry was just going to be done after that. And now, all of a sudden, here we go, five years later, ministry is alive and well, kicking, and Al is as fired up as ever, and we got American going on. So yeah. what, what what what's been that whole thing about? Can we actually thank Donald Trump here for the resurrection? I guess or not even the resurrection, but you know, putting a little adrenaline shot into uh, ministry here. I mean, I, I think it, it definitely added fuel to the fire. You know, no. um, we did think after after Beer to Eternity, and especially after after Mike's you know passing. I mean, you got to remember, Mike passed while we were still recording that album right so we were still in the studio in el paso and um he actually left el paso went back to dallas and um and died like two days after that and i was still in the studio in el paso so Man. um it, you know it, it was a, a very difficult traumatic time for us and we we even wondered if if beer to eternity would ever come out you know because it just really uh just knocked the wind out of us but um sure. you know mike was so happy and proud of that album and we just thought wow you know we just think that that mike would have wanted us to to continue and um we had a tour planned after that and uh so that that was a big reason that that we actually kept going was you know we kind of wanted to keep mikey's spirit out there and alive and uh and we knew that that you know he would be out here right now with us yeah um, Right on. So that did have something to do with it, but uh, and also, you know, uh, Trump being in office, as you know, Al likes to uh, talk politics sometimes, and um, yeah, a little bit. I think, like I said, it just added fuel to the fire. Right, right. Now, again, for everybody watching, again, we are here with Sin Guitarist Ministry, and they got their brand new album, American, dropping here March 9th, with a tour coming up March twenty second. Uh, getting back to Al and his passion, I mean, obviously, I mean, he's he's been known for a long, long time. Uh, definitely not being shy about sharing his emotion, his feelings. I mean, he's very outspoken, obviously. I mean, that's really what ministry and, and your songs and, and your uh, performances on stage when you're out there on tour, you, you definitely get that. Now, for you, you get as fired up and animated as Al. Do things affect you as much in the in the landscape of you know current events and whatnot? Yeah, I mean they do. I, I I can't say as much as Al. I mean Al is definitely more involved in the political you know uh, side of things than I am. For me, um, what gets me inspired and fire, fired up is just everything that's happening you know around me. Things that I see, things that I hear, and for me the the um the output is music and what i write sure. and so that's that's kind of how it it uh it manifests for me and it, and it comes out that's the outlet for me is you know al tells me hey you know we, we're gonna do a new record and then uh 
I show up with riffs and ideas and song ideas and uh, and that's kind of how it works for me. So that's that's his you know his um, his outlet is is obviously um, the lyrical stuff, which is always very political. Yeah. Um, and he's very animated with that. And then, uh, you know, my input uh, is, is the music side. Yeah, yeah, sure. But uh, yeah, one thing I'll say, I don't know that I've ever seen as much, um, you know, hype for any particular album release so much as American. I mean, you know, like you said, I mean, there was a delay for obviously, you know, for obvious reasons, going to the new record label and everything. But Al has really been front and center uh, with all the various yeah. videos and, and promotional material that's been going out there. I mean, it's been yeah. really wild. Yeah, it, I mean, it, it's definitely, um, I don't know, man. It's it's kind of just like this huge snowball effect that uh, we haven't really had as much with, um, with other records, you know. Right. Um, it, with this one, I mean, the the media seems to be really behind it. Um, certain critics that have already heard it um, are really pushing um, and very, uh, I don't know, man. It's, you know, we're used to getting a lot of shit from people, which we always <laughs> will and will continue to do, and that's fine. Mm -hmm. um, but there seems to be a great anticipation for this record, and I think it's just, it's a combination of, you know, it's just the right time. Yeah. Uh, especially for this, you know, uh, political climate that we're in right now. I think it, I think people are just ready and waiting for something. And I think that, uh, you know, I think we, I think we nailed it on the head with this record. I think people are going to be pleasantly surprised um, with the direction of the album. Um, a lot of people have been comparing it to like, you know, um, Dark Side of the Spoon and Filth right. Pig. And, and uh, Psalm 69 and stuff like that, which is great. I'll take it. You know yeah, what I mean? Right Those on. are some of my favorite records. So um, I, I think uh, I think people are going to really dig it. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing a lot of hype for this album, which is great. Yeah, now Nuclear Blast has got to be thrilled out of their minds to have you guys right now. Seriously. Not really. <laughs> oh, man. But I, no, I'm sure I'm sure they are, but I'm sure they're kind of going like, "What the fuck did we get ourselves into?" Uh, right, days? right. Oh man. Well, you heck, know, you know. Yeah, hey, Jurgensen, man. Work. You know, I mean, you got to know. You're bringing the whole package along. But you know, it's funny. You were talking, you know, just a little bit ago about you know, kind of the reception for the people that have already heard American. And I've listened to the whole album. And the thing, you know, with Rock Titan TV, we like to focus on the official music videos. So you know, I'll just turn the attention to you know, Twilight Zone, you know, which I absolutely yeah. loved, and Antifa. And even though uh, it was even more of a lyrical video, I thought it still really had uh, a lot more of an official music uh, presence, and that was with, uh, oh, God, uh, Wargasm. So, Wargasm. I mean, awesome stuff. Now, for you, how much fun is it for you making these official music videos? It's great, man, um, especially the Twilight Zone video. Yeah, uh, yeah. Because that was, we hadn't done, like, a full sort of production video in a long time and um and that for me was a blast man the, the company that that we worked with and, and the director chris roth did an amazing job i think and um i had a blast doing it man you know it was it was like a full on full production music video and, and it was it was kind of a trip and it was a lot of fun for us to do right. and we actually shot another one um okay that that I, I'm not allowed to... Really oh, see, I about, thought we were going to get some but, breaking stuff here but, right now, man. But there is another music video that will be out shortly after. Yeah, see, now you're saving that news for someone else, aren't you? That's all right. You can That's, tell me. <laughs> I'll, I, will, I will tell you about it as soon as I get the green light. Okay. All right. Now, now yeah. who has to give the green light? Are you at liberty to, uh, to say that? What's that? Who has to give the green I light? Have to get, I have to get the green light from management and from our label. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, I see how it is. But I, so obviously, so this is going to be, I guess, what your third official music video off American, then? Uh yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Very cool. So the tour coming up. How excited are you to be out with the guys again? You know, and and playing all this new material for your fans. Extremely excited, man. Um, you know, to have uh, Joey, you know, uh, behind the kit. I mean, he was he played drums in ministry in 2006. Um, and then to have Burton 
Burton C. Bell with us again, who's a, uh, an old dear friend of mine. Um, it's a great, it, it's a great lineup, man. Everybody is is top notch, uh, great players, and more importantly, just great people. So it's it's really like being out with family, and um, you know, just uh, having a blast doing music with with uh, with your friends. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. Yeah, right on. So you guys are starting out on the West Coast, March twenty second. You know, yeah. out in your neck of the woods. And then I couldn't help yes. but notice, because I was tracking you guys, I'm like, please, please tell me you're coming back over to the east side and, like, maybe passing through Philadelphia, you know? Because I know that we were supposed yeah. to catch up last year when you guys were at the Electric Factory. I missed you. I'm still kicking myself over that. But... It was a great show, boy. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, rub it in my face. I'm sure it was. Of course it was. You know? Yeah, it's an but amazing the, show. Uh, uh, as I'm sure it always is. But I know you True. guys are going to be going at least through the Baltimore area this time around. So I'm going to have yes. to catch you in Baltimore. You know, and I know yeah, that's definitely. toward the end, and then you guys be wrapping around down south and headed out toward Texas. So you guys really yep. are covering, you know, kind of the circumference of the United States, yeah? We are, and uh, I mean, we're hitting a lot of places that we haven't hit in a while. Um, on the last tour, um, we did, um, we do a lot of Midwest places, um, and some places on the West Coast, but we didn't do a lot of, like, we haven't played... Uh, uh, Nebraska, we haven't done in a while. We haven't done Montana in a while, um, and we didn't do Canada on the last run. And we're doing all the, all of those places on this run, so we're touching on a lot of places that we haven't been to in a while. Very cool, very cool. Yeah, I, I didn't think there was a whole lot out there in Montana, to be honest with you. You know, it's yeah, like, man. I actually, you know, I you'd be surprised, man. I've I've had some great shows in Montana, um, in Billings, Bozeman, Bozeman, uh, Missoula. Missoula. Uh, I was going to say that's the only place I knew of that had like inhabitants. Yeah, man, it's crazy. The the fans just go nuts, and I, and I guess it's probably because not a lot of bands go through there. Right? But the last, geez, the last time I played up there had to be maybe over 10 years ago, easy, maybe 12 years or so. And uh, and the, the shows were just amazing. Very you cool. know, the crowd's now, just going nuts. Is there a particular uh, spot where you're looking forward to hitting on this next tour? A place that maybe the you haven't been in a while? Or... What's that? I'm, I'm always hitting the low. I'm, I'm always looking forward to hit the lower region. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right on, oh, man. Mean, Who I isn't? Mean, Who isn't? Mean, we all love hitting the lower regions, man. You mean in the States? Yeah, in the United States. Um, man, you know, it's, it's tough, it's tough to say. I, I really like the South, to be honest with you. Yeah. Um, because, uh, the fans just seem, are so appreciative and just so welcoming for some reason. All right. That's very cool. Yeah. That's very cool. Now, I, I, I don't want to ignore your attire here and like the way you guys are going to be dressed when you're out there on tour. Cause I know you got some friends out there on Ventura Boulevard, you know, specifically that have a little bit to do with fashion. I got to Share some love for our mutual friend Melissa over there at the Rock and Edge. You, Absolutely. You, you ever uh, sport any of her product? I yeah. do. Yeah. I do. Um, I have a lot of Melissa's stuff um, right. in the um, uh, in the wardrobe department, and um, yeah, cool. I love her stuff. She's a, she's a great friend. She's a very talented uh, artist. So yeah, definitely hats off to Melissa, and I'll be I'll be sporting some uh, some Rock and Edge stuff. Very cool. Now, what about Al? Al gonna be rocking any of that stuff too? I don't know what Al. I think Al's got an endorsement with uh, with Loves or with Pampers. So, <laughs> I think nice. that's what he's gonna be sporting. Nice, nice, very cool. All right, well, send up. Uh, thank you again. You know, just for joining us on the program here. This is very, very cool. And I know that I speak for all ministry fans when we are looking very forward to seeing America come out. And, of course, we'll be tuning in to see when this next, next official music video gets released to yeah. follow up with the Twilight Zone and Antifa. And, oh, man. You know what? One thing i got to ask you about. I almost totally forgot. What's with the chickens, man? What's with these blown-up chickens? The chickens. Um, that was uh, something that Al wanted to do and decided to do. And, uh, yeah, the Trump chickens. It's just, Trump uh, chickens. I don't know, they're taking on a, a life of their own now. And I think, we're, I think we're bringing them out on this run. I'm not sure. You got I those things trademarked? I'll, I'll, I'll find out at rehearsals if they're, if they're there. You got to get those things trademarked. You yeah, know? I know. That could be huge. Well, we've, we've done all kinds of things to them already, so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I'll bet. I'll bet. All right. Yeah. Well, everybody, again, we are here with Sin Guitars from Ministry. They got the brand new album, American, coming out, dropping uh, March 9th. And then they're going to be going yes. on tour March 22nd. Sin, thank you again so much for your time, man. And uh, thank good, you. good luck with the new album. And, you know, be safe on tour. And I am very much looking forward to catching up with you guys in Baltimore. Cool, man. Yeah. Right, man. I will see you uh, cool. the, uh, what's the What's that place in Baltimore we're playing at? Uh, Ram's Head. Is it Ram's Head? Yeah, man. Yeah, that's a cool venue. Yeah, yeah man, for sure. Thank you. Thank you for the support and the time and uh, and all the kind words, and I appreciate it. Yeah, man, you got it. Thanks again for watching. Please remember to subscribe to us on YouTube and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. You can also catch us at www.rocktitan.tv.